So much stuff. Okay, thank you, Doc. Going to 108th between 1st and 2nd Avenue. In less than two hours, I've already stocked up, filled the fridge, went downtown, picked up more food, back uptown with some food. I get the shit done. Free food. Probably didn't think I was gonna be able to do it, eh? <laughs> Mira, aquí hay salsa, así no tenemos que comprar. ¿no? Sí. Hey, papi, do you want some juice? What? I said you are the greatest. You're the greatest. This is amazing. <laughs> How you been? I currently have two community fridges and I live in between both fridges. Every community fridge operates differently. Both of my community fridges, they're outside in the corner, accessible 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and anyone is able to place food or retrieve food at any time. So there's like a bunch of fun. The reason why I started the fridge, it was kind of my way of seeing like, hey, if I address a certain need that my people have, is it gonna make a difference? But if I had more money, I'd be addressing housing. But all I had was a little piece of a corner and an electrical unit and a fridge was more. I had an artist named Sandy. She painted this with her students. We've had like different fridge art, but you have to be from like the neighborhood because that's how it is. <laughs> East Harlem makes up everything that reminds me of home. My first heartbreak is in East Harlem. My first fight is in East Harlem. My best friends are made in East Harlem. Gentlemen. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. You? What up, Poppy? How you doing? How you doing? So like, I have this tattoo, it says El Barrio, um, and that means Spanish Harlem. And my mom works at a law firm, so she was always against tattoos on the arm. But I wanna tell everybody, like, I'm from Spanish Harlem, I'm from Spanish Harlem. There's also water, there's fruits, there's like the greens. Cookies and stuff up there too if you want to take to the baby. Okay, Poppy, you have yeah. to leave some stuff for everybody else. No, you know that's too much. So. No, I know, but still, everybody has a family, family too. When I put the fridge there, my community doubted that it would even last through the summer, let alone a week. People would tell me, this is Spanish Harlem. They're gonna destroy it. How do you put something so accessible and free in a community riddled with drug addiction and mental illness where people don't have a lot? I kept having to remind people, I promise you we can do this, but every day you have to show up. I've always had a desire to help others. When I was a kid, I watched black and brown women in the community take leadership. And I think that it really showed me what I wanted to do. My junior high school was called the Young Women's Leadership School. It was a public 
single sex school in East Harlem. The school had opened because young women in the community had been statistically found to not graduate from school at as high rates as other communities. So I'm about like 12 years old and I'm sitting in this auditorium watching the first graduating class. And Oprah was the guest speaker there. There was like this ferocious leader in front of us who told us that like, listen, the world is waiting for you to change it. The world is waiting for you to become pillars in your community and society. While you young women go to college, make sure that you represent yourselves to the highest capability because after you come all these young ladies who are watching you graduate. It was, it was like we had no choice. Like, it was like, it was almost like I felt like I had a destiny. Um, so I guess like from that day on, I was hyper focused on like becoming successful and making sure that I could be like a role model to others. I did have coffee before I left. I have no but coffee. I would like coffee. Nobody called and asked me if I wanted coffee. Right. <laughs> Carter and I met when we were 13. We've lived together in different states. I've been her maid of honor, and now we co-founded the fridge together. Um, so two slices of meat, one slice of cheese. Mm -hmm. Slather on the mayo. Don't be, Don't be stingy, stingy with, with the, the mayo. <laughs> we have been friends for a while, but we didn't start off as friends. We actually had a fist fight. Um, got very physical. But <laughs> we were like 14, 15. You know, sometimes I still want to fight her, but. Shoot, what's up? <laughs> when we first put the fridge there, we tried to ask the supermarket, the local businesses, like, hey, I can like come pick it up. They'd rather throw it out, you right. know? The majority of the restaurants and supermarkets are aware of our fridges. It's like one of the biggest re um, supermarkets that like throw away food that might be going bad within like another month. Why aren't you donating it? Why aren't you guys pitching in? Like, it's... <sighs> you got some money for us? Some money to donate something? No, you just show up? I got you, I got you. So, nothing? No, no, we don't have no body. You always tell me here. Empty handed, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh my God. When we first started the community fridge, we had like this utopia vision that is of the people for the people. And then at one point we realized, hey, we actually need money to sustain this. There's always emergencies happening. The fridge breaks, it needs to get clean. Volunteers, reimbursements. Papi, you know put all that stuff in there like that? I'm gonna put it in there. Are you gonna put that stuff in here? I'm gonna say there's, there's like a big box in there. If you see the refrigerator can't close, why would you put a box in there? It's crazy. And these don't go in the refrigerator, they steal all the cold air. It's not like how you would use it in your home. So sometimes people put things too heavy, sometimes people lean on it. There are times when I need a lot of my time to myself. Some days I'm just like, I get very overwhelmed. It's a whole training period of being an Afro-Latina woman, trying to like figure out what does leadership mean to me now? You know, it's, I'm still understanding on my own terms. The Barrio Fridge is more than just free food. It provides a reminder that there's good people out there and that you don't have to be rich, government funded in order to make change. 
over a year later. I think what has changed since the fridge has been there, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and, and act like there was like killings and violence before my community fridge, and now there's been no killings and nobody's gotten robbed. You know, that's not realistic. Um, the most realistic thing I can say is that there's a level of um, pride and optimism.